Um, I'm very gratified by the wide margin um, because I work very hard every day for my constituents and my district, and um, it's uh, kind of an affirmation of what I do every day. Well, Betty, this is Peter Cox. Um, congratulations. You've got uh, two, two more years at the State House. What do you uh, think you're going to focus on in your coming term? Well, um, contrary to what my opponent has talked about with economic development, I have been concentrating on that quite a bit, um, working with the local town officials and our economic development director, with the mall, with encouraging new businesses to come into North Attleboro, with um, trying to rezone some property to make more commercial. Um, there are several things that we're working on. I've had the Economic Development Director in town for a meeting. We have another meeting set up with him in December, and I'm constantly working toward economic development. The other thing is that, you know, these things have to stem from the community and come forward. And then I can take them to the state level to help the town. Um, but it has to start at home. And so what I'm doing is trying to partner with all the local officials to try and create opportunities for good things to happen for our community. Scott Dubuque joined us in studio. Well, you know, I really can't be all that disappointed, um, considering I am an independent, I'm an unknown, uh, new to politics, um, didn't really focus on the fundraising aspect of uh, being in politics. Um, I was not that type of um, attack dog type of politician where I was encouraged to do so, but it's just not my nature to be that way. Um, you know, Betty's a great gal and her husband's great. They care about the community as we all do. Um, I got in because you know, I, I really wanted to focus on economic development. I thought it was lacking in town. Um, you know, the cuts that have been made uh, year in and year out within our own district. And, um, you, know, I, you know, I think going forward, the focus on education is going to be much stronger. Um, the focus on economic development is going to be much stronger um, on local leadership's behalf and, uh, you know, Betty's behalf. I think I can... Um, take pride in, in knowing that that was really the, the main key point that I was trying to drive home um, with my campaign. If I did win this election, I could honestly say that whatever the issue was, it was issue-centric and uh, district-specific. And if, if I'm going to vote on any particular issue, I would have to get the input of the people I represent. Um, and to me, that's that's really where we kind of are lacking in our government um, structure right now. Everybody votes along the party line. Um, so if I thought as an independent, um, you know, if I wasn't tied to any ideology or any particular le leadership, I could, you know, really be the one guy within state government that everybody would look at to see, you know, how he voted because he's not tied to a party and everybody knows that everybody votes along party lines and um, I see the divide between the two ideologies as getting wider and wider.